Hillary Clinton has the best shot at being the next president of the United States. That's according to the trading website Intrade, which is based in Dublin, Ireland. As of earlier this afternoon, Clinton had about a 51% chance of winning the Democratic nomination versus Barack Obama, who's next in line with a 22% chance. John McCain has a slight lead for the Republican nomination, according to Intrade, with a 30.7% chance versus Rudy Giuliani, who's in second place with a 30% chance. Overall, Clinton has a 28% chance of being the next president versus Rudy Giuliani, who's next with 17.5%, just above John McCain with a 17% shot. Obama is fourth with a 13% chance. We're joined now by Justin Wolfers. He teaches a class on prediction markets at the Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania. Uh, Mr. Wolfers, thanks for uh, joining us today. And I want to ask you about the, this Intrade.com website, its ability to predict the political future, if you will. You've studied this closely. What's the track record of Intrade? So Intrade's pretty new. They, they ran their first markets on elections in 2002, but they've uh, been astonishingly accurate. Uh, take the 2004 election, actually ran markets on who, who'd win in each uh, state, who'd win the Electoral College vote. And uh, in all 50 states, in fact, the favourite ended up winning. And uh, you know, you just watch the pulse of the race and it provides you a very simple way of trying to figure out who's up, who's down, and who's likely. Uh, specifically with the case of, of Intrade, uh, they must get uh, people participating from all around the world, this website. How is it that people from all over the world participating in this process can be such a, a essentially, a good indication of things to come? I think there's two reasons. Uh, one is different people in different parts of, particularly in the United States, different parts of this country, have different pieces of information. I was in Pennsylvania during the 04 race, a very hard fought campaign, but you just couldn't help but get a sense in Philadelphia, for instance, that this was going to be a state that was going to turn to Kerry. And so there's, there's enormous amounts of disparate information out there. You figure out who's knocking on whose doors, who's active, who's getting people out to vote. That's one part of it. And then you might think, is it helpful that we've got all these other folks from all around the world also trading on this event? And if you again you think about some of the data that we have about politics, we're drowning in data. We have literally hundreds of polls going on during an election cycle. We have focus groups, we have advertising campaigns and so on. And a lot of what these folks are doing is they're just integrating these different sources of information and using that to inform their trading strategies, which then means that the uh, prices that you see on in-trade end up reflecting not only all those different pieces of information, but potentially certainly a market-generated weighting of those different pieces of information, which polls should be listened to and how much weight should we put on which pieces of information. And uh, you've got political scientists, you've got political aficionados, you've got geeks and you've got back backyard punters who are all sort of weighing in there. And, you know, the proof of the pudding's in the making. These markets seem to do a pretty good job. I was reading that uh, on election night this past November that uh, Intrade was was suggesting that while others were, were saying George Allen was going to pre prevail in, in the Virginia Senate race, was he was going to come out on top, that Intrade, in fact, was suggesting that perhaps that wasn't the case, turned out to be correct. Is that right? Yeah, I, I mean, at some point, Intrade did, in fact, say Allen was going to go ahead. And, and here again, you just want to think about what's happening on Election Day. We are getting in election returns from polling booths throughout the country and trying to figure out the major trends is, is incredibly difficult for the pundits. So on election night, instead of watching the pundits, I was watching Intrade. And it was amazing to see Intrade figured out there was something wrong with the early numbers for Allen, probably 30 to 30 to 60 minutes ahead of uh, most of the talking heads on TV, ended up causing me a long night because I had to stay up and figure out who the heck was going to win the Senate. Uh, let me ask you about that, uh, just this, this going forward, this ability for, these, for this website, other predictive uh, uh, markets to, to look at uh, political races in particular. Uh, are they better than, than, for example, opinion polling here in the United States? Absolutely. So this isn't the first of these markets. Um, in 1988, a, a group of very enterprising researchers at the University of Iowa set up some prediction markets. Their markets have managed to predict the final vote share of the winning politician with an average error of about one and a half percentage points. By contrast, the Gallup organization, uh, spending thousands and thousands of dollars on polls and making thousands of phone calls, their average error has been about two and a quarter percentage points. Uh, you can also go back actually through US history. It turns out that 
believe it or not, Americans have loved to gamble on elections uh, throughout our history. And you can go back literally over the past century and find evidence of the gamblers getting it right again and again, even in those races where often the polls got it wrong. I want to share with our, our viewers that the, the variety of things that are currently being wagered on at, at Intrade. For example, the chances that Dick Cheney could resign as vice president uh, by June of 07, the chances there, 10 percent that he could resign by December of 07, 20 percent, and uh, one of my favorites here, the, the Best Picture Oscar, 50 percent say it's going to be The Departed, uh, Little Miss Sunshine at 24 uh, percent. Uh, give us a voice of, of reality here. Uh, why should we not put too much faith into these uh, market predictors going forward? Well, uh, all these predictions are doing is trying to aggregate the intelligence that's out there. If, uh, if the crowd out there doesn't know much about an event, then you can't expect the market to get it right. But uh, absolutely, if you've got an informed audience thinking about what's going to be best picture, I, I think you'll be pretty confident that, for instance, Martin Scorsese is going to win best director. All right. Well, we will wait to see if it turns out to be correct. Justin Wolfers, thanks very much for your time. Your thoughts on this topic. Interesting stuff. Up next, the state of the U.S. economy. We'll be back our poll today.